Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Maze in the last episode. We started off this playthrough, we chose our first Pokemon, I chose Growlithe to join our team, and then we just uh, caught some Pokemon on the various routes nearby, um, the first couple of areas, I can't quite remember what this place, I think this is Jade Village, there we go, okay, so um, one thing I have noticed is uh, because of the... Um, because of the ROM file that I actually patched this onto, the uh, the patch for Pokemon Maze onto the um, Pokemon Red file I had, means that actually the night and the daytime, I don't think there's actually any difference graphically, which is a bit frustrating, um, because obviously it would be lovely to be able to tell the difference. But uh, as to why I was probably encountering sleeping... Uh, Just, so, like, for example, here we got Rattata, which are asleep. Um, you know, these sleeping Pokemon, uh, that's obviously because it's light. And, uh, which is quite a nice little touch, actually. I don't know if that's uh, the case in the, uh, in the original games. Anyway, um, so, I'm here because, actually, Rattata is actually going to become a Pokemon that I think I'm going to try and uh, use in this run-through, at least for Raticate. Um... Hopefully not just as an HM slave, but uh, cut and strength will be handy on it. Um, note, uh, I like the new little adapted uh, little uh, uh, little sprites. Um, instead of just being like a generalised one, they've got little sprites uh, at the side which pop up and down when you choose them. I'm just having a look at each of the Pokemon I've got. Uh, I probably won't be using Hootoot, I obviously won't be using Spearow. The other thing about this graphical package is obviously that the shiny Pokemon won't appear any different, which is obviously disappointing. Um, the way they, I think, the way that uh, I was, just, the way that the guy said it would show up is that um, shiny Pokemon it would there would be a flash of the the screen would flash black um, before. Um, if it was a shiny Pokemon as opposed to a normal Pokemon um, for those playing in black and white. Um, now, I haven't been able to see that yet, but that just might be uh, from the uh, not paying attention or, you know, just different things like that. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to level up Rattata just a little bit here. Um, but yeah, obviously, uh, I've never played Gold and Silver, so I'm not that used to sort of dealing with the day-night cycle and actually the consequences of such, in the sense that, uh, you know, having to return to areas because of, uh, it looks like these hoo hoo only have brown. Uh, but yeah, returning to these areas because, uh, they only have, um, certain Pokemon at certain times of the day, so, uh, that could well be, I don't know if there's two hoo that's tackled. Rattled through a level, excellent. I just want to get him up to about level seven or eight. Uh, just to start off um, this episode, didn't mean to use Tail Whip, but there well. That all does a lot of damage. So yeah, I haven't, um, normally, like, beforehand I try and decide, well, not, like, decide on a team, but again, um, in the same vein as my Brown playthrough, uh, I have no idea. Um, well, it's actually, this is worse than my Brown playthrough, because in Brown uh, you get given when you download the package, there's actually a, a, a document that comes with all the wild Pokemon locations, which is actually very handy. Um, in this game, there was not. And so, uh, you know, I am basing a lot of... So I have no idea what Pokemon I'll be, in, you know, encountering. And, um, you know, how much I need to be, you know, whether there's, like, Pokemon I need to catch in certain areas and stuff like this. Yeah, still, we're still in night time. Uh, it seems like the only new thing in the... Night times the hoot hoots. I remember seeing lots of rat, uh, lots of Spiro and Rattata before. I don't know how long the transfer is between day and night as well. Is the other thing. So that's something just to keep uh, keep an eye on at least for me. Um, uh, I could probably actually just buy a fair amount more Pokeballs because you know I don't know what Pokemon are going to turn up. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to head, um, we searched there and we found a, a little, 
can't remember exactly what we found. We found something there anyway. But uh, we're now going to head north. And I think we did that. Yeah, we did, definitely. So this is Route 2, Jade Village. So we're going to head north, and we're going to see what Pokemon we can encounter on this route up here. So We've got Wild Mareep. Okay, so uh, that's rather high. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, obviously Gen 2 Pokemon, uh, Electric types. I should have caught that Mareep. And Wild Nidoran as well. Okay, so seeing lots of uh, seeing new Pokemon here. So uh, we've got some things to try and catch. Hopefully we won't take too many Pokeballs. There we go, Nidoran was caught. This is the male. Uh, we won't be using Nidoran, I don't think. Uh, more Spearow. Uh, more Rattata. Now yeah, we're back today. Okay, so we see Spiro and uh, Rattata in the day, it seems. Yeah, nothing else at the moment. No, just the Spiro and the Rattata. Might. Ah, no, we do get Mareep in the day as well. That's pretty cool. Should have tried to catch it again. I'm not thinking. Okay, uh, we'll go back and heal up. And we'll go ahead and back around. Could use Mareep. I think I generally prefer to use a Gen 1. I don't know why. I just feel like using a Gen 1 Pokemon rather than a Gen 2. Ah, there we go. Near around. Female. So, Pokeball. There we go. Okay, so catch the female and the male Nidoran, uh, which is good. And now all we need to do from this area, which I, we've seen, is catch the Mareep. Uh, which I'm sure we'll be able to do in swift time, hopefully. So now I've seen all of the Pokemon here in the day. What I might do is I might just very quickly see if... Just do five battles on route on this route over here. See if there are any new new guys. I don't think there will be. One. Just more Spiro, more Rattata. It's okay. Two. Two. Okay. Uh, three. Oh no, that's four. I should say. Fifth one. Good luck. And Okay, so yeah, nothing nothing new though. It just seems to be that the Hoot Hoot appear at night. Um, at the moment on this route, we haven't actually seen any difference between the Pokemon in the what, the day and the night. So maybe, or maybe I arrived during the day. Maybe it just turned into day by the time I arrived. Uh, nonetheless. Yeah, so that's um, a slight downside of this, uh, at least this emulator. It seems that uh, other emulators have the ability to you know, showed this sort of thing in the colour, and we've catched Mareep. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I can't. There either isn't a way, or I can't find the way to do so for this. And so, stuck with uh, stuck with the old red and green colours of Pokemon Red. It's not too bad, but uh, you know, it would be nice to show you the uh, the shiny sprites and uh, you know stuff like that. I'm sure. You guys would be interested in seeing those sort of things. Okay, so I'm gonna go up this side. I don't know why. Let's try. Okay, there's an item up here. I shouldn't be speeding through. There's a repel there. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else. More spirit. Have we heard this battle music before? I don't know. Maybe I've just got a really bad memory. Uh, now, um, okay. So where are we now? Basalt Cave entrance. Okay, so it looks like we're entering one of Pokemon's infamous caves. I wonder if there will be Zubat. More of the same. Being a little bit of slowdown, a little bit of frame lag. Although I have seen that in my uh, previous Let's Plays as well. 
Let's check up here. More Marie. So it doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, yeah, I'm getting quite a lot of frame lag now. Okay, so I'll try and not use uh, the speed up for too much longer then. It doesn't look like there's anything else new. Ah, it's a bit weird watching it talk. Okay, there's a potion there. Cool. Um, so, where am I going to on? 11, level 11 is pretty solid, okay. I'm gonna head into Basalt Cave. So we've got a slight variation on the classic uh, cave theme. Uh, and we see wild Psyduck in here, so following, pretty sure we saw Psyduck in caves in uh, Pokemon Brown as well. Maybe in the original, so I don't remember. Uh, I'm not going to take it out, probably is. Let's try. Come. Yeah, okay, so catch side up. It's cool. So, one Zubat as well, of course. You know, it wouldn't be a Pokemon cave without some Zubat, let's be honest. I didn't want that to take it out, but that's okay. Apologies for the uh, the frames. Not sh quite sure why. It might be because I'm really low on battery. So uh, just hopefully this is well got caught. There we go. Look at it, get added for Zubat. Okay, obviously we use Zubat in um, the well, obviously I use Zubat in my Pokemon Thunder Yellow Flying My type, so we can't use Zubat here. Now, just as this battle is going to start, I'm just going to move my laptop. Hopefully this won't be too noisy. I know that sometimes the uh, speakers can get quite an earful. I'm just going to move it over here so I can uh, charge it up. Okay, so I'm just going to charge her. Sorry about this. Okay, that should hopefully start charging. That's good. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay, so now we're just going to continue through this cave. Uh, we'll start taking out these back pretty quickly. The custom music makes such a difference in making this sort of feel like a very different game. Ah, well, Diglett, we can catch one of these. Well, we could if I had not that one out. <laughs> I don't have any Pokemon, so I'm safely hiding. Hopefully my friends will notice I'm gone. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, more about dig like okay, this. Let's see if Tackle does Nope, Tackle also takes that. Okay, well, Geodude, okay, so Quick Attack won't take it this time. Fair amount, okay. Use a Pokeball, catch Geodude, there we go, nice. So that's another of the Pokemon we need to catch. Okay, side up, I'm gonna just try and. Okay, that's, that's no real problem. Um, we'll just use Gold. Growlithe, obviously, I haven't been using Growlithe in a fair while, so we'll give Growlithe a chance to get some levels. Ember should actually be okay against these guys just because. You do have rubbish special defense, and so the special split and the rest of it. We'll go down here. Oh ho! You look like a legend from not long ago. Yes, yes. Ah, I'm scared down here. I miss Blandy. Who's Blandy? Okay, so more Geodude. Not great, really, you know, obviously. Okay, there we go. Quick takeout. That's good. Wild Sand Tree. Okay, this is cool. Um, we got the burn, so that should mean Pokeball should work. Yep, there we go. So we catch a Wild Sand Tree, which is pretty cool. So that gives us uh, another one. Now we just need to catch Diglett to get all of the Pokemon in the area that we've seen so far. More 
Psyduck, come on, bro. There we go, nice. Is it the way out? Okay, it is the way out, so we'll just uh, stay around. Nah. Uh, okay, it's night time now. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to search in here, see if there's anything new. We've got more Hoot Hoot. Uh, we've got more Mareep, which is cool. Two. More Ratata, of course. Three. Four. Five. Okay, so we've got more Mareep, more Hoot Hoot, more of the same, essentially. So we're gonna make our way quickly, hopefully, to... Ah, back to this place. Okay, we'll go into this Pokemon Center and heal up, obviously. What do you have to say? I strive to be as friendly as possible. How about you? Let me see your Rattata. The two of you must have met recently. You'll need to spend some more time together. Okay, so I think, um... I threw that Jigglypuff over there because it wouldn't stop singing. <laughs> Is that the Jigglypuff, don't you? Jigglypuff. Poo poo! Gross. Jigglypuff does its little song. Um, so yeah, so I think this um, girl here is uh, designed to be here because um, some of your Pokemon will evolve with regards to friendship. So that would be stuff like Eevee um, evolving into, say, an Umbreon or an Espeon, um, depending on its friendship level. Uh, so that, I think, because there's no number for friendship, there's no way of actually... Um, or oh, there's no actually like any clue for friendship if I go into my Pokemon. Like, yeah, there's no like big number for friendship. So I'm assuming what that is there is just so you can actually recognize it as opposed to, um, you know, actually have some sort of reference as to whether, you know, your Pokemon think you're friendly or not. Uh, so you can obviously plan ahead. Okay, we've already caught Sandshrew. I'm back in here for to catch the Diglett. Um, that we missed last time. And then we'll probably finish off uh, just uh, clearing up around that uh, that next area. Find out where we are. Talk to some people. If there's, if hopefully a Diglett will come along in that time. But one can never know. Uh, it's decent levels for. You know, it's o well, okay levels for the likes of Rattata and. Well, for Rattata and. Uh, Growling. Maybe they're only daytime. I don't know. I think. We'll probably come back. I can always come back a different time. I obviously need to check that whole area in the day as well. Um, so what's back to being night? Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Do you know much about our region called Baldor? Let's go now. Boulder is widely known for its mineral deposits in the ground. Much of the stone found here is shipped to other nearby regions. Kanto is the big importer of, our, of the natural resources found in Boulder. I go, yes, it's fascinating, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting, certainly. Uh, let's go. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Why don't you make like a cow pie and hit the road? What's that? No? I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. This is surprising. Happy music for rapper. Okay, here's just what happened. I was going to beat you up for good reasons, but then I saw a Pokeball on your belt. Don't hurt me. That was a bit odd. I'm assuming that's there to stop you from going further. This is Nickel City. Ah, so as you can see from the mineral deposits, that um, they're obviously uh. Named all their various cities based on mineral deposits as well. A place that does not change. So, what up to... Have you seen the best building here? No, let's have a look. Oh my god, you have to come see this. Okay, 
This is the trainer house. It's fun to try and get to the end of the rooms. I've heard there is even a cool prize in there. I'm going to walk this way now. Bye. Okay, trainer house. A great place to test your Pokemon against others. Okay, so that looks like a little... Maybe kind of in the vein of a gym, kind of like that. I like to train in this building so I can get strong enough to beat a gym leader someday. I've got to always watch out for those, you know, hopefully get into a position where we can face off against a gym leader. What's this? Are you doing your part to help preserve the rich soil of Baldor? Refrain from digging gaping holes in the ground. We'll do our best. So. I nicknamed my Nidoran Elwood. Elwood. Bow, wow, bow, bow, bow. Nicknaming the Pokemon you catch can be fun. Try to avoid boring names such as Horn Dude, I Love My Dad, Fly Guy, Destroyer, or Owner. Puna, whatever. Use some of that creative juice. Eh, use some of that creative juice in your brain. Well, you know, I can laugh at that, but at the same time, I haven't actually thought of the uh, the theme of the uh, how I'm going to name my Pokemon this time around. That's it, yeah. Ha! You're bland, just like Blandy. Who is this Blandy? Sounds rather amusing. So we can't go up because of the block there. Did I talk to this girl? I'd like to train this building so I can get enough. Yeah, we can talk to her. Okay, we'll just head south for a bit. Okay, so here's the Pokemon's checking side here. The guy who lives in the outpost of this city seems to attract Pokemon. Burn heal is the splash of items. <laughs> oh, yes. um, burns aren't generally that common, I guess is the comment they're making there. Anyway, uh, we don't have that much money, so I won't bother too much with that. We'll go in here. My Kadabra is level 37. Soon. In other regions, some Pokemon need to be traded to evolve. Here, they simply evolve when they reach a certain level. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. So that means uh, I can use a Pokemon like Machamp, or like I did in the previous... Uh, you know, or... Something similar, like Geng uh, Haunter, and you know, it will evolve into a Gengar in game as opposed to needing something like the Trade Stone, as in Rhyjon, or uh, you know, or just needing to be traded, as in the originals. Which sucks. Anyway, uh, said uh, our gym leader left to pursue her dream. Blandy was just chosen to be the new leader a few days ago. He has a lot to learn, though. So, it was this Nickel City Pokemon Gym, Leader Blandy, the atypical normal trainer. Okay, so it looks like our first uh, gym battle is going to be against a normal type trainer. We've got level 12 Rattatat, level 13 Growlithe. Hopefully we'll be able to see, I mean, obviously this is the earliest gym, so I have no idea what's going on. But nonetheless, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we've obviously made our way through parts, you know, more parts of this uh, region, uh, reached the next city, Ni Nickel City, and uh, hopefully you will join me on the next time where we try and get our first Baldor region gym bag.